I'm pretty particular about my truck, and something as small even as a little bit of hazing in the headlights will drive me crazy. So it's really no surprise that something as small as some of the black paint coming off of the bumper here is driving me crazy. And I don't really know, maybe I'm just overreacting, maybe it's something that I really shouldn't worry about, and it's maybe it's something that I notice way more than anybody else. But either way, it drives me crazy, so what I'm going to do today is sand all of this black part down, and I'm going to repaint it. Let's get started. Now the most important thing I want to mention first is I do not recommend spray painting your vehicle. The only reason that this piece of the bumper is black is because it was painted black by one of the previous owners. I didn't do it and I wouldn't have. If it was up to me I would have done a vinyl wrap or plasti dip or something like that that was removable later on. But what's done is done and all that's left to do now is fix it. So because we're going to be working with spray paint the most important part is going to be masking off all of this area over here so that the overspray from the black spray paint coming onto the bumper doesn't get on to the white of the vehicle. took a lot longer than I was expecting, but the entire front of my truck is taped up. The area that I'm going to be painting here on the bumper is still open and available, so we're going to start sanding that down, get rid of the black paint, and then put a fresh coat on. So what I'm going to do to get all the paint off is I'm going to start with a 60 grit sandpaper, and then I'm going to get it a little bit smoother with 120 grit, and then do a finer sand with a 400 grit sandpaper. And that should make the bumper smooth enough to where I can clean it off with some acetone, and then start painting. not a very clean job <laughs> okay so because I'm just repainting this black I'm not sanding it completely down all I'm doing is making sure I've gotten all the rough areas taken care of and smoothed out that way it looks like a smooth surface and then I'll just go through and I'll repaint so the next part is to get a rag and some acetone and clean the bumper off that way it has a clean surface for the paint to go onto that way it sticks better So everything has been wiped down with acetone, meaning that it's gonna be very clean right now, and it's ready to paint. Okay, so I just finished the sixth coat of paint. All that's left to do now is just let the paint dry. I'm gonna give it overnight, just so that it has a good amount of time to set there. And then all that's left to do is pull the paper off, and it's good to go. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. Even though I may be a little bit too picky about my truck, it's still fun to get out and do these projects. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you around.